What's good? Y'all know who it is, y'all know what it is. Your boy Matthew Shack live here in Los Angeles. Welcome to Matthew Shack Unfiltered. Uh, Las Vegas Raiders are looking to uh, rid themselves of Kenyon Drake. And it's going to be at a huge cap hit. Uh, Kenyon Drake has uh, reported to be released. If not traded, doesn't look like a trade is going to happen. And he will be released and it will be maybe like a $3.4 million cap hit this year. And then like a $4.4 million cap hit next year. If we can't find a, a, a suitable trade opportunity. And I don't think that's going to happen, man. Kenyon Drake um, is not the guy who was playing for the Cardinals when we picked him up uh, almost two years ago. Uh, Gruden two-year $11 million deal and he got a broken ankle in week 13 and it was looking like a good one-two punch man it was looking like thunder and lightning you know we would have uh Josh Jacobs and Kenyon Drake but with both of those guys being oft injured and a new regime coming in you see what's going on with Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler you you have to understand anybody that was Gruden Mayock, if you're not already locked in or we're not working on a deal for you, extensions are being not given. It's your approved or it's time to hit the road, man. And that's what Raider Nation has to understand, man. The Raiders are not the Raiders that we're used to. We're not the Raiders that the NFL landscape and the media think we are. Because that's why they keep bringing up, they have to hash up things that happened two years ago to, to, to make, to put us in the news. We don't have no new scandals. We don't have any new situations. Everything is either some old stuff with this Tom Brady situation, which was two years ago, which they're trying to act like it just happened. Or it's a, it, it's a situation where players aren't getting extensions because they're not showing up. And... I don't have a problem with it, man. I like Kenyon Drake. I thought it was going to be a good situation. I thought they were good together. But at the end of the day, man, if play, the best availability is 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 being healthy. Okay, that's what it is, and we're willing to take an eight million dollar hit. That means something. Amir Abdullah, uh, uh, Zahir White, Britain, uh, Britain Brown. These young cats outplayed and out motivated. These guys on the uh, on the running back position. These guys is ready to run, man. We, we we running back by committee is what the what it's gonna acquire, man. If Josh Jacobs don't get it cracking, if he doesn't get it cracking this year, dog, it's over. He 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 won't be a Raider. Okay, no more of I like a guy. That's what I've been hearing from a lot of Raider fans that I know, man, hit me up, man. I love all you guys, man. But just because we're all in the same, fa same family don't mean we're going to agree. There's plenty of times you look at the people in your family, man, you, you, you might not agree with your sister. Your sister might not agree with your brother. Your brother might not agree with your mother. Your mother might not agree with your father. And your grandmother might not agree with none of y'all. But y'all still family. And I'm just saying, man, the days of I like this guy and this is the guy that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy that's over, man. You don't win football by, by who you like. You win football by who's who's uh, actually producing. And Kenyon Drake, man, he's going to get his money, like he said. You know, he's like, hey, either way, I get paid. Hey, man, I'm not mad at the brother, man. I'm a capitalist. You need to pay for people's services. You, 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 you honor a contract. You expect the players to honor a contract. And then you want to make it beneficial for you. You got to pay a cat, man. So as far as that's concerned, it just goes to show you, he definitely is not beating out these other, other four running backs that are rookies. He's not beating them out. That's why he's not gonna be on the squad. He's not beating them out, dog. I just told you, these dudes are, are outperforming him since OTAs, we understand he's coming off the injury, but just because you're coming off the injury doesn't mean I have to stay there with you and, and nurture you through the process if you only got a one year deal. Now, if you a long-term, we got a long-term deal, like if Derek Carr gets hurt, if, if Devontae Adams gets hurt, if Hunter Renfro gets hurt, hey, man, that's an investment. Dave Ziegler, 
and, and Josh McDaniels don't have no affinity towards anybody who they haven't already signed. Look at everybody who's locked in. Mad Max don't have that problem. DC don't have that problem. Uh, Hunter Renfro don't have that problem. Uh, Devontae Adams don't have that problem. And they're working on Darren Waller's deal. These are the guys that are going to be around regardless. Everybody else, you got to show up or blow up. All right, man. Love all y'all out there, man. Matthew Shaq Unfiltered.